All right, so let's start working on our API. And we will be using a repository pattern, which is fairly flexible and common in APIs. And to do that, we will need to create an interface and then, of course, implement the interface in a class. And the reason why you want to use an interface rather than inheritance is that interface can be added to the services of the .NET Core and then will be available throughout the whole application. All you will have to do is just to inject it into a constructor of any class where you want to use these methods. So with the interface, we will avoid all the inheritance and instantiating of the objects and wondering whether the object already exists, whether it was already instantiated somewhere else. With interface, none of that is going to be a problem. So we will have two pieces. We will have the interface that will contain the method signatures and we will have the class that will implement these methods and actually provide the logic for them. So let's create the interface first and I'm going to create a folder and call it services. And right click, add and add a class and I'm going to call this I event repository. Now, of course, what we created here is a class and I want it to be an interface. So I'll simply change class to interface. So what methods do we need? Well, as you could see from the slides, we will need to add, delete and update the records. And rather than having a separate add, delete and update for each of the entity, I'm going to create a generic add, delete and update methods that can be used by any of the entities by passing the appropriate class to it. So let's create a first one. And these methods will not return anything. Any add, delete and update will simply be void. So first one will be add and we'll make it generic. So we will accept a generic class and we'll simply name it as an entity. And the entity that we want is to be a class. So it will accept any class that we will pass to it and it will try to perform the add method into the database. So next one, we will have the delete and again, we'll make it generic for any T entity where the T entity is a class. So again, we will simply pass a class to it and perform the deletion. And finally, we'll have the update for generic T entity. And once again, the T will be any class that we want to update. And then I will have one special method that I will call save. This will actually perform the saving into the database. Add, delete and update, simply change the context and save method will perform the actual saving into the database. So that one will be task because we are going to be using async. So I'll create this as task and it will return a Boolean because what I need is to return a value of the records that have been entered or saved or deleted from the database. That will actually tell us whether the save was successful or not. And I'll call it save. So these are the add, delete and update as well as the special method for the save. And next we can create the get methods for the events, gigs and comedians.